Okay, let's get started with procedure A, mass balances for brewing. I've got my procedure on this side. I've got my uh, data tables on this side. I've got, you can see my scale, and I've got a 250 milliliter beaker on it. Let's start with the first instruction, which is record the type of coffee you were using. And uh, I've recorded it. It's the Ethiopia Sadama Karamo that I uh, roasted last week. And uh, it's right here. And it sure smells good. Uh, the roasting uh, in the popcorn popper does well. Now uh, place about 65 grams of roasted coffee beans into a clean, dry 250 milliliter beaker. And I've got that here on my scale. And I've got it zeroed with the beaker on the scale. That way, uh, when I weigh out my 65 grams, I'm just looking for a total of 65. And I've got 47. Oh, beans everywhere. 51. Hmm. 54. Get in there. Oh, 65. 65.3. I hope you can read that. Uh, that's a good amount. Close enough, I would say. And if you're plus or minus one gram or plus one gram, we, I think we do want 65 grams just to make sure we have enough for the entire activity. Uh, now I've got my grinder here. And it's just an old grinder. Um, it's, uh, I have uh, wiped it out. And I wiped it out while it was unplugged. So only ever do anything inside a grinder with it unplugged because you'd hate to have anything go wrong and have that thing go off when you're, when you're inside it. So, uh, but I just, uh, I wiped it out with a brush and you can see it's, it's got some, it's an old grinder. It was old when I got uh, it at a yard sale. So I'm gonna put this in here. Should hold it all. That's another good thing is it holds 65 grams. It doesn't hold a whole lot more. You can see it's pretty full. And uh, let's get this out of the way. Now, um, if you have a cone and burr grinder, that's going to do even better. But if you only have uh, a blade grinder like this, then the best way to grind your coffee, uh, well, I'm going to do about six seconds. So, um, and it's to give it a little shake while it goes because the shaking mixes the particles up. If you don't shake it, you'll tend to get a more uneven distribution of particle sizes, so more bigs and more smalls. I find that if you just shake it, it actually, I mean, it's not going to be as good as a cone and burr anyway, but so let's see. So, and I'm just going to count it off uh, 1,006. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. And right. Oh, and regardless of how you do it, you're going to have the same grind of coffee beans for all of the experiments that you're doing today. And let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's not perfect for sure. You got some bigger pieces there that were on the bottom before and some smaller pieces, but this will work well. And I didn't want to grind it till they're all tiny because a uh, brood... A clever dripper or a pour over type uh, typically works better with uh, a not too fine, let's say, number of particles. Although the part of this class is to figure out what works best. Okay, so record the mass of the empty, dry clever dripper. Uh, that's the next instruction here. So I've got my empty, uh, dry clever dripper, and uh, I'm going to record the mass. Uh, with the bottom plate, but not with the top plate. So let's see. So before I do that, let's clean up the extra coffee beans there and turn it on. 
Uh, and that's because we're going to end up having it on the scale and I don't want the coffee to go onto the scale. So let's see what I got here. Mass of, I got 280.0 grams. Uh, I'll tell you that since you can't see it. Yours may be similar, but not necessarily. The mass of a clean, dry filter paper. And I've got my filter papers here. I've had my Clever Dripper for quite a while. I, I don't know if you can see it's, uh, even though I wash it quite a bit, it's still showing its age a little bit. Filter paper. There it goes. 1.6 grams. And um, I'll show you my thing here. So it does say grams here. So you don't technically have to put the units in, but I like to put them in anyway. Makes me feel a little better. Uh, mass, dry filter, and the mass of your clean dry coffee cup. Hard to see there, but I get 441.6. And those are grams as well. All right. Uh, place the filter paper in the Clever Dripper. Place approximately 25 ground, grams of ground coffee in the Clever Dripper. Set the other 40 grams to the side. Remord the, record the mass of the Clever Dripper with both the clean dry filter paper and the ground coffee. Leave the Clever Dripper on the scale. So, put this on the scale and put in about 25 grams. And so, uh, you can see actually that, uh, well, I don't know if you can, it says 281.8. And 281.8 is going to be 0.2 grams more than it previously said. Oh, 281.6. Actually, that's what it's seven. So it's it's only good to that des first tenths of a decimal place, and there's a little bit of movement as you'll see. So it doesn't add up perfectly in that uh, tenths place, but that's okay. So now what I'm going to do. Mass of Clever Dripper, Dry Filter, Paper, and Ground Coffee. Well, I know that this is 281.6, and I'm just going to do some quick math here. So 281.6 plus 25.0. Um, oh, no, 6. Uh, 013. 306.6 is what I'm shooting for. And I've just gone ahead and um, you can see that. So I've added 25 grams to it so I know what it's supposed to be. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. And I want 306.6. And I got 307.5. And that's close enough. You can see it's got some pretty good size to it. Um, I am going to actually write down that I did it for six seconds of grinding. And those are a loose six seconds, but so uh, I'm going to write 1,006 counting because I counted out 1,006 seconds grinding. Um, and now I have 307.3 grams. And I'll be able to subtract and get the amount of coffee in there. Uh, place blah, blah, blah. Leave the Clever Dripper on the scale. I'm going to do that. Pour, uh, oh, okay. And the next one, heat up a little more than 300 grams of cold water. I'm going to take a break and do that, and then I'll come back.